Are you screen sharing into Zoom and all of a sudden you realize that you forgot to share the sound? Well, I am going to give you a sneaky little trick for how you can do that while you've already been sharing your screen and look like you're a seamless Zoom pro in the process. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events Podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We dive even to more into these topics that I talk about here on Zoom, such as is Zoom dead, show calling, stage managing, a lot of it, we just did two episodes on event timing tips, and so much more. So listen wherever you listen to podcasts. You know I love Zoom, YouTube. I feel like I've done a lot of videos on these, and a lot of them come from something that I've had to learn the hard way. And we all have either done it or been witness to someone sharing their screen and then somehow not remembering to share the sound, which I say somehow because it seems like it's a no-brainer, and yet it can sometimes be a little tricky checkbox you forget when you share screen. And in the latest update that Zoom did in April, there is now a feature and a way that you can do this a little sneakier. Instead of having to stop your screen share and start again, there is a way that you are able just to enable sound while you're already screen sharing. And I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, so here we are in Zoom and When you're screen sharing, it could be maybe a presentation and you are just so nervous about making sure your slides are correct that you do not remember to share your audio because you have one slide that has audio in it. So you're here in Zoom, you're gonna go to share screen, you're then gonna select your PowerPoint slides and here, and again, Zoom has moved it, so if you're using an older version, you're gonna see these check boxes down here at the bottom before you hit the blue share button. Now on the update since April, you're gonna see them over here to the right and you're gonna be able to click share sound. And if you're sharing a video, I would highly suggest you do optimize for video sharing. Now the issue that I see a lot of people hit is they forget to share sound, so let's uncheck those. And we're just gonna hit share. Now I'm here in my presentation and I'm gonna click through my slides and I'm clicking and here's my embedded video. and you're not hearing it in Zoom. So this is the problem that we have here. All right, so you are now seeing my second monitor. So I have my PowerPoint is open on my right monitor and I'm here on my main monitor. And so this is so you can see the Zoom controls because it hides it from himself. So if you click it, this is what it shows. Okay, everyone's seeing my video. It's paused. Now, again, I have updated my Zoom. So I'm gonna go to this little pencil icon right here, click that. It then is gonna open up the pop-up that we saw before. And here I can click share sound and I'm gonna hit share. So it didn't stop my screen share. It still is happening. But now you see the little speaker icon. Now I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna hear me into Zoom. I'm not professional enough, therefore I have to rehearse. That's not And now I'm gonna show you what that recording looked like in Zoom. All right, I'm gonna share you my PowerPoint. So we're gonna go share. I'm gonna not click share sound because then you don't know. And I'm sharing and let's share my video. Now you're not hearing it and I'm hearing, oh no, Logan, I can't hear your sound. So again, I'm gonna go to my screen share. I'm gonna go to screen share, expand it, click my little icon. I'm gonna click share sound and share again. I had some people take it. Others are like, oh, okay, this is my time. I get to run through every single slide that I want to say. Well, I had this come up for a client. We had a two hour award show and we only had an hour to rehearse. And so I had to be really explicit with my client where I was like, reminder, we don't have time to go through every single thing word for word. And that is how you can make sure that while you're already screen sharing, that you can then add the sound in case you forget, just like I I've seen it happen before. I've done it myself. We're all human, but you're able to save yourself in the future. Well, hopefully that helps give you a little more clarity about how to add the sound once you've already started screen sharing. Again, you can always go back and just hit stop screen share, start it again, 
and make sure you click that box to enable sound. But I've just found this hack is actually really, really helpful because then you don't actually have to stop your screen share. It has also bailed me out of a time or two because you can turn that sound on at any time in that presentation. You don't need to wait until it's on the slide that has sound. Um, it has also been a way that uh, as a friendly Zoom like expert, I feel like seeing other people's presentations, if I don't see that little speaker icon uh, when they're sharing their screen, that's how I can tell they didn't enable their sound. So it's just a helpful little pro tip. You're looking for this speaker icon right here. I'll put a screenshot to it. That's how you know you're sharing sound. You're letting Zoom essentially listen to your computer sound. And you do need to check that box. And it's a very important box. Well, hopefully you learned a new thing about Zoom. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.